These jump shots are for current and next gen, but you can have the best jump shot and still be terrible. So I'm also giving every jump shot tip I know as well. Now, as most of y'all know, unless you're not subscribed, you know, hit that subscribe button. I've got seven different builds that all have different types of heights and three point ratings, which require different shots. So today I'm giving you each shot I personally use for each build. As you guys see, I've played 491 part games already and I'm shooting 63.4% and most of my builds have under an 83 pointer on this game. So I've also played about 100 30 rec games as well and yeah i'm just trying to say i put a lot of time into this game i'd say i play at a pretty decently high level and today i'm going to be showing you the best tips i possibly can with the best jump shots okay so the first thing i would do is hit start and go all the way over to your options go down to controller settings and turn off your shot meter now this year it's been proven that it doesn't give you a huge boost but every single thing counts and trust me i think that you're going to be much better off without a shot meter because you don't have to really deal with latency and stuff as much with your bar bouncing back and all that and yeah yeah, it will take some time to get used to, but I promise that after a while, you will really appreciate that you turned it off. Now, shot timing release time. This is your preferred time to release the button during the shot. This does not change your actual shot speed but I have it on early. So I don't see a lot of people using very early. I heard it's horrible. I use early. That's the most common one that I know of, but you can use whatever you want to, to try out your jump shot and try to be the best with your shot. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the next one is to make sure you have on the best shooting badges possible. You need to have on what your play style is. If you're a spot up, you need to have on catch and shoot corner specialist you know claymore stuff like that i have a video on the best badges to use if you guys want to watch it after this make sure to go check it out as you see though i'm running the guard position and the most important one for the guard is amped in my opinion the first one you want to put on then green machine so as you see it reduces the penalty that fatigue has on a player and their ability to make shots stamina is really bad this year as you guys know you don't get to sit there and dribble around all day and that's the next most important thing as well is to go down to your get boost and as you see on the right your weekly workout will say perfect workout turbo boost it will say active or inactive whatever you need to make sure it's active because look right below it that is what you get right there for having your workouts done and they're very fast to do it takes less than five minutes real quick let me know in the comment section which game you guys are playing current gen or next gen if you're on current gen you want to go to the gatorade facility if you're on next gen make sure you pull up your map and go right here to the gatorade gym now i've also got a really cool tip for you if you want to know where to fast travel the fastest like the closest one to you you don't have to pull up your map you just tap rb or r1 if you're on playstation and it marks it for you the quickest place to fast travel so that's really helped me out a lot and saved me some time anyway in the gatorade facility on current gen or next gen i'm going to show you guys which workouts to do that are the easiest all you have to do is get three stars in the workout i know you've seen that i have four but you only have to get three on each one of them so you go over here this is the first one that i do i do the dumbbells and then i do the medicine ball now in the middle of your workout if you're ever not getting three stars you're right at the end and you haven't got three stars all you have to do is close your game and it will not save it before the workout ends and you can do the same thing on playstation but the next one i do is the agility stuff over here in this area and then you want to go all the way over here to the treadmill so the treadmill is a very easy one as well and then the last one i do is the box jumps over here you only have to get three stars you do not have to get four and it will give you this gatorade boost that you see that huge bar right there which is going to help you a lot especially on 2k23 all right so as y'all see the build that i'm on right now has a 92 three-pointer i've got two different jump shots that i use and that's what i'm going to show you right now okay so the main jump shot i'm using on this build is Derek fisher base and as you guys will see as i'm filling it out this is not for really a 92 three-pointer it's able to be used at like 88 but i just like this shot better than any other one i'm also going to show you my higher one as well so make sure to drop a like on this video guys if you haven't yet please i'm going to be showing you everything i possibly can today now the base is Derek fisher the release one is Derek fisher and release two is going to be oscar robertson now i really like oscar i don't know what it is it also puts a lot of grade into your shot as you see and then i go all the way up on my release speed of course now watch this if you guys want you can change things and you see it's going to move your three-pointer at the bottom so you can change it down to let's say you have an 84 three-pointer 83 82 whatever you're still probably going to be able to use some of these shots that i'm giving you depending on your height and stuff but what i use is 18 percent Derek fisher 82 percent oscar robertson you see we get an a plus release height a plus defensive immunity a minus release speed and a b minus timing impact so let me show you this second shot that i also use on this build but this is the main one i use 90 percent of the time this one is steph curry and oscar robertson a a plus a plus a minus so if you have a really high three-pointer you're going to be able to use this and like i said if you want you're able to move back 
or forward depending on what the three point rating is you can see you can go down to a 91 it just depends on what you're able to use but some of these you'll be able to use even if you don't have the rating if you move it a little bit now the next thing you want to do if you can is to get a gaming monitor that has one millisecond of response time you don't have to spend a bunch of money on a 0.5 millisecond or a 0.1 you can get a one millisecond for around 100 bucks used you could probably get it for under a hundred dollars i know some of these tips you guys might not be able to do but i'm trying to give you everything you do want a gaming monitor instead of playing on a tv it's going to give you a lot less latency it's called latency if you play on a tv you're going to have much more latency and it's going to really affect the timing of your jump shots and remember if you can't get some of these things today you can always write them down get them for christmas your birthday whatever it is you got to do it's going to be important and it's going to help you in every single game that you play online as well the next one is called hardwired you want to make sure you're hardwired from your modem or or your router to your system so what that means is you buy an ethernet cord which is usually about a dollar to five bucks depending on the length that you need you plug it in the back of your router wi-fi whatever it is and then into your system and it's going to give you a much better connection usually than just being on the wi-fi all right so as you all see i'm on my pure lockdown build 83 pointer this time now i'm going to show you what you use on an 83 point rating build the jump shot i'm currently using is Lamelo ball larry bird and kyle anderson a a plus release height, A plus defensive immunity, B minus release speed, and a C minus timing impact. So, like I said, again, if you want, you can move things forward. You see, you can use it with a 76 three pointer. You can move it forward, use it with a 74. It really just depends on the releases you're able to get and your three point rating. But make sure that when you see some of these shots, you don't just write it off and go, oh, I have a 74 three pointer. I can't use it because you can move it down all the way to a 74 and still be able to use it. So it just depends on what the animation blending is. But I showed you guys what I'm currently using on this build. Okay, so I'm about to give you two options. The first one you probably already have, so it's free. If not, it's about five to 10 bucks probably. And then the second, Second one is going to be a hundred dollars but the first one is to make sure if you have any sort of plug that can go from your controller to your console to always have your controller plugged into your console that's also going to give you less latency now the second one and this is not a sponsored video i just bought this controller because i was hearing so many good things before 2k23 came out about it it is called a victrix controller it's about a hundred dollars on xbox i don't know if they have one for playstation but it has helped a lot because i've definitely played on both consoles a lot and i can tell you for sure that xbox has a little bit more latency than playstation so this does help out quite a bit now the next build i am on my sixth foot seven 74 three point rated build and i'm going to show you what jump shot i use on this one now this one is going to be really interesting i literally just use default swing yes i'm not kidding as you see it has an f timing impact now look i don't really look at these a lot bro if you're able to time the shot really good that's the shot i would use but for a 74 three point rating this is literally the build that i use right here which i got up to around 60 percent from three using just this shot before i made another build in the park also if you're able to jt thor is very good if you're able to use this shot on any of your builds i think jt thor is pretty good as well gives you a little quick shot it's an a minus for a 74 three an a minus i think you just have to have a 67 so this shot could help you out a lot as well all right the next thing i'm gonna recommend and yes this one sounds like a broken record but you want to make sure that you buy jump shot boost look if you go into it it is 1500 for 10 games no matter what you play you're gonna make that vc back by just playing the game park rec 3v3 pro-am pro-am stage does not matter you're gonna make over 150 vc per game jump shot boost helps out a lot I don't care what nobody says nobody i don't even care if a test comes out and it says it helps you zero percent jump shot boost helps a lot on 2k23 and it does every single year i don't care what nobody says i know for sure when i'm out of jump shot boost i'll be missing in a game and i go oh i gotta be out of jump shot boost and i am every single time now the next one i would recommend is to try out your jump shots especially before you go into the park and also i wouldn't go into the park if you're not a very good player without a lot of your shooting badges that's going to be very important yes cold zones and hot zones are not a huge difference this year it's been tested by 2k labs but like i said every single thing helps you want to have hot spots you know what i'm saying you want to get that little bit of a boost for having jump shot boost that little bit of a boost for having your meter off every single thing counts to helping you be a better shooter on 2k23 now this build that i'm on right here is my seven foot popper 79 three-pointer and for some reason I shoot better on this build than any other build. 
literally any other build. It's actually pretty disgusting, but let me show you what the jump shot is that I'm using. This jump shot is Christian Wood, PJ Tucker, and Larry Bird. 99% PJ Tucker, 1% larry bird so like i said you are able to move it around if you want to you know change the immunity and all that type of stuff but this is currently what i'm using on this build you can go up you know you can do whatever you want to do you can make the stats better worse whatever the release speed does not matter but that is currently what i'm using on this build and i shoot lights out with this build i really wish 2k had an option to see stats on every single build so you could see you know per build how you're shooting but this one would probably be my highest one okay the next one i would do this is for your teammates or for you is to make sure bro if you're not a very good shooter or your teammates are not very good shooters to use dimer make sure to just hassle your teammates to use dimer it does help like i said every single little thing helps on this game towards being a better shooter and you want to do every single thing you can to be a better shooter i shoot 63 percent and almost all of my games in park like 400 out of 500 are with an 83 pointer or below i'm telling you i know how to shoot very good on this game and that's why i want to help you guys now the next build is my six foot three three point shot creator it has an 85 three pointer now i'm going to show you which one i use on this build currently i'm using lamello ball Derek fisher and Derek fisher it has a 99 percent blending into fisher and you know 1% into Fisher as well. So LaMelo, Derek Fisher, Derek Fisher. I really like this shot. As you see, it has a weird like twist to it. And you know, it's pretty good for the cue. I think in my opinion, it could either throw you off or help you a lot. Cause as soon as he does that little twist, that's when you know it's time to release the shot. Okay guys, that is it for the jump shot video. If you still did not somehow get a jump shot from all those builds, let me know in the comment section down below and I can try to help some of you guys. And also let me know if you need help with anything and I will try to help you in the comment section down below. It's your boy Badge Plug, you've been plugged in and in your comment so that I know you made it to the end and you really do need help, say Plug Nation at the end of your comment and I'm out. Also, click one of these two videos, guys. I have so many things. A dribble tutorial, showing off bully, do you need it or not, posterizer, if you can shoot with a 65 three-pointer, so many things on my channel. Make sure to go check them out, and I'm out. Peace.